London for Festival of Genomics. And as you can hear around you, it's an incredibly busy day. We're really excited. We've had fantastic numbers come through on our first day and obviously hoping that will continue again tomorrow. I guess our third year means that we're looking at new themes. And one of the main new themes this year is definitely around data. The pool will come from patients who can see in this model new data uh, and new reporting that can be of benefit to treatment. The NHS is probably the best positioned universal healthcare system in the world on whole genome sequencing. In the space of five to ten years we will be the leading nation using genomics. I spoke about the use of big data and big data analysis, machine learning and deep learning and artificial intelligence for cancer therapy, both in discovering new drugs for cancer. As a psychologist and a genetic counsellor, I'm really interested in how people make sense of genomics, and so I was here to present um, a very large data set of public attitudes towards genomics and genomic data sharing. Well, I was discussing um, blockchain and genomics, so I'm interested in how um, products like ours, which are built on blockchains, can help to make uh, scientists able to communicate data easier. Patients, they want solution. They want precise, customized solution, and those are based on smarter data. So we showcase for the first time a solution to make DNA data minimal. And doing that at the show was really important because we were able to intercept the right audience. The gender pay gap is 27.5%, um, but what's great about the industry is we've got a lot more females in the industry, it's currently sitting at about 44%. Well, we're here in the Launchpad as a startup, and we've been promoting our software Move. We've had a great day here. We've been discussing our next-gen sequencing solutions, and we've had some really interesting conversations with customers. There's so much going on, it's great to see the variety of different things, and as a scientist learning in the NHS, it's great for me to see the other parts of the picture that are going on genomics, so the pharmaceutical companies and the policy applications. So this is our third year doing this conference. It's been good in terms of the return on investment. I was able to talk to the, the audience here about everything that we're able to offer for their entire library prep process from beginning to end, tying in our entire range of products, which was absolutely fantastic. The last year, actually, we've seen a lot more footfall, actually, a lot of more interesting questions. I think the presentations themselves and the quality of people are here is more towards the clinical space, which is exactly perfect for, for our company. The main benefit is the networking, um, meeting clients, meeting new clients, also keeping up with um, what's happening within the industry in terms of technology. So I found it a great opportunity to catch up with lots of people, particularly in the areas around clinical genomics. I think the big attraction has been the, the insightful talks um, from the NHS and bringing everybody together. Our biggest announcement today is that we are launching um, the Map the Gap fundraiser. The goal is to raise $150,000, uh, which will sequence 100 individuals from founder populations within South Asia. So finally, I'd like to say a huge thank you, as always, to our sponsors, our exhibitors, our media partners, and all of the organisations that work with us to put on this event. Without them, we're absolutely nothing, and we wouldn't be having such an exciting and busy day that we are having today. We're looking forward to working with everybody again for a successful event in 2019 at our new home, the Business Design Centre, from the 23rd to the 24th of January, 2019. And we hope to see everybody there.